Hello there, Mark Cunningham here. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to reconcile foreign currency transfers or exchanges in your Xero file. Now, the first thing you need to do is make sure that you've set up all the currencies that you need in your Xero file. And I do have a separate video on that. So I'll link to it in the description of this video if you need to go through that. And the next thing you need to know is that you actually need to set up a separate bank account in Xero for each currency that you use per product. So for example, if you have a PayPal account and you have Australian dollars, US dollars and Great British pounds in that PayPal account, and then you also have say a TransferWise account and you have Australian dollars, US dollars and Great British pounds, you actually need to set up six separate bank feeds in Xero. So it's a lot of work to do but you need to do that for this to work properly. Okay, so once you've done that, a few more things to note. When you transfer money between bank accounts in the same currency, Xero can easily tell that the two amounts can be reconciled to each other. So for example, if you transfer 100 Australian dollars, there will be a 100 Australian dollar withdrawal from one bank account and a $100 Australian deposit into another. So zero can easily match those up because they're the same amount and they'll most likely also be on the same date. However, when you transfer money between bank accounts that are in different currencies, zero cannot easily tell that the two amounts should be reconciled to each other. So for example, if you're transferring 100 Australian dollars into US dollars or exchanging it into US dollars, there will be a $100 Australian withdrawal from one bank account and somewhere around a $70 deposit in US dollars into the other account. So Xero can't really match those two up automatically because obviously the $70 is different to the $100. So you need to do an extra step to help Xero match the transactions and that's what we're going to look at. Okay, so over here in my TransferWise account, you can see that I've got this set up so that I deal in Australian dollars, US dollars, and Great British pounds. So in zero, I've set up separate bank feeds for each of those. And then what I've done is I've actually created a transaction where I've taken 282.86 Great British pounds, and I've converted it into Australian dollars, and it's come out at 513.95 Australian dollars. And it's got the exchange rate there as well. And you can also see that there's a 99p fee there uh, from TransferWise. So what's gonna happen is that 282.86 Great British Pounds over in zero, the TransferWise fee that we've got set up in Great British Pounds, that amount of money is going to come out of here. And then the 513.95 Australian dollars that amount of money is going to come into here. And there's also just going to be the fee in there as well that's going to change one of those amounts. So like I said before, zero can't really match these up um, automatically because they're both different amounts. So it's not easy for zero to be able to do that automatically. So we've got to go through and create the transfer ourselves. So the way you do that is you can go into the feed that the money is coming out of. So we'll go into the Great British Pounds feed and we'll find the transaction, which is this first one here. You can see there it says 281.87 and then there's the fee down here of 99p. So those two so those two add up to the 282.86 over here. So that's the difference. Okay, so we'll go over here to the 281.87 and then we'll click on transfer. And what we need to do is select a bank account that it's transferred into. And that account is going to be the TransferWise Australian dollars one here. And then what you need to do is you need to put in the amount of Australian dollars, which if we go back over here, we can see is 513.95. So we'll just type that in here. Okay, and once that's in, you can see it's given a little exchange rate down here which is 1.82460, which we can double check 
against this one over here, which is 1.82335. So it's almost the same. The difference is that we've got that uh, 99p fee in there, which just makes them slightly different. So just as a sense check, you can just make sure that they're almost exactly the same. And once you put that in there and click on reconcile, you can then go back to bank accounts and you can go to the other side of it, which was in the Australian transfer wise feed. And we'll just scroll down and you can see there that zero now knows to match it up to the other side, the 51395, which you remember is that one there. So because we did the other side of it and we told zero that it was a foreign currency transaction and the amount of the other side of the transaction, it's now matched it up automatically. So we can just click on OK there. And now both sides are done. OK, so the other thing we need to do just to finish off is we'll go back into bank accounts and back into our Great British Pounds feed. And we just need to reconcile the fee. So we can just do that over here by creating a transaction. You can also set up bank rules for this, by the way, if you um, do this all the time and you just want to make it easier on yourself. But we'll just do a, a manual uh, job of it here. So I'll just type in some details. Okay, so I've just got who is WISE and then I've got a general ledger code there specifically for bank fees from WISE. And then as the description, I've just put in WISE bank fees. So you can just do something similar to that and then click on OK. Okay, and now everything for that transaction is fully reconciled. So that's how you do it for a transfer wise um, currency exchange. Um, it's exactly the same thing if you're using a different platform like PayPal, for example, it's exactly the same process. You just need to go in and hit transfer and basically put in some more information so that zero can go ahead and automatically match the other side. And then of course you need to go in and just reconcile any fees that happen as well. So that's how you can reconcile foreign currency transactions and exchanges in zero. Okay, that's it for this video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you'd like to see more free videos and also check out the links in the description below for our zero courses. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.